the first challenge is that because of their um, their roles and and their current professions within uh, academic or uh, institutes or research institutes is that they have never experienced or come in, in contact with the question of how do I manufacture a, uh, a regent medicine uh, innovation. Um, it's, it's quite complex, very innovative products that they're working on, and they're mostly um, occupied with the scientific development uh, of, uh, of the product or the concept. Um, and like I said, since they're never confronted with the actual manufacturing of such device, they don't ask the right questions or are not even aware of uh, what uh, challenges come with the manufacturing of, uh, of such complex uh, products. Uh, I think that's the first challenge. And then the next challenge is also because of the innovative uh, field that regenerative medicine is, you tend to work on new products that the regulatory agencies might not even be familiar with or might not have any experience with. So it's hard for them to fit the new innovations into the models and the regulations that they're working on. Um, so that's one thing. Um, and then I think the third uh, challenge is simply the diversity of skills that is needed because it's not just the manufacturing, it's also the tools and the equipment needed. It's the personnel. And as I mentioned before, the quality and regulatory uh, requirements. And that is, is quite diverse uh, in, uh, in uh, you know, knowledge and, and resources that you need uh, that they often uh, need support in, in identifying uh, what actually is needed and then start building uh, based on, uh, on those uh, floor plan or, or path, uh, pathway to the, to the market.